Smart India Hackathon is a nationwide initiative to provide students with a platform to solve some of the pressing problems we face in our daily lives and thus inculcate a culture of product innovation and a mindset of problem solving. The first four editions of Smart India Hackathon 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020 proved to be extremely successful in promoting innovation, out-of-the-box thinking in young minds, especially engineering students from across India. We are here with our first team, Mind Optimizers, and we would be asking them a few questions related to Hackathon. So, ma'am, my first question to you is like, how was your journey towards Hackathon? How you got selected? What were the preparations that you need to do and so, like everything? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, my name is Priya and I'm mentoring this team. We are from MIT Aurangabad. Actually, we are planning for the some one project for the smart city. Uh, we just keep forwarding that scenario in the this hackathon only. We want to just provide the best solution for the the people facing fi while finding the beds occupation uh, in the hospitals do, uh, uh, in the particular COVID time. So we just find out the solution to overcome that problem only. Okay, so I got to know that this hackathon is all about giving some problems and you guys have to like find some solutions if I'm not wrong. So would you be explaining me like what is the problem that has been given to you and what are the solutions that you need to come out with? Yes, uh, so the problem statement which we had chosen was uh, to detect the occupancy of beds in hospitals. Uh, as uh, uh, all people can see that uh, during the time of pandemic, many people were facing issues in finding beds in the hospital as there were no vacant beds. And uh, so this was the problem statement given to us to find the occupancy of beds. Uh, so we started to develop a website that will show the occupancy of beds in all the hospitals. Uh, hello, I am Sami Ahmed and uh, we are from Pillai's HOC College from Mumbai. And uh, so the thing was, uh, while exploring the problem statements, initially we had the uh, idea of, of the, there is something in the industry like QR scanning, QR code scanning, and it's growing very well. Like uh, the online payment system is growth so far, like it's very simple to, uh, you know, do the payments using the UPI. So when we went through the problem statements, we found this queue management system and somewhere we kind of tried to relate that from the QR scanning. So we uh, implemented a system which books appointments and uh, uh, that will avoid being in a queue and all the hectic, hectic procedures of being in a queue. Actually, the problem statement was meant for the COVID-19 crisis when the queues were very hectic. So the book slot booking system will be digitally uh, done and uh, everything will be on the QR scanning. So when the slot booking uh, is to be confirmed, the person is, uh, will be given the estimated time for that and whatever uh, accordingly he, can, he or she can manage the time, uh, he will be getting the notifications of whatever the time is required to reach the location. Then after reaching the location, he or she will be scanning the QR code and confirm the appointment. No need of standing in the long queues and waiting in line. So that's the problem statement we selected. We are here with Oak Roots and now I would be asking like if you can see all of them are working and now I would be asking them few questions related to this. So ma'am like uh, from where are you, which college and which place? We are from NIT Hamirpur, Himachal Pradesh. Okay and uh, like I guess uh, you have also chosen a problem and you're working on that to get a solution out of that. So what was your problem and uh, like why you chose this particular problem that I want to know? We didn't choose the problem, the problem chose us. As, as, we, were, uh, as we were trying to promote one of the events of our society in United Hamirpur, we came across the fact that promoting is not so easy. Like getting membership, getting uh, those views, getting those uh, people to come and join us for our endeavor is not so easy. And what we found the barrier, the preliminary barrier was that it was very difficult to 
get to know the right people to yeah. make the right connections like we can approach 100 people but out of them only 10 would be the people who would be interested exactly. so that would cause a real huge waste of time so if we could build a platform that would ensure that there are the right people who are interested who are passionate to for doing a, a particular thing in a particular domain and we could all bring them together that was our idea and that was the problem that we faced and due to that we chose this problem and started working on it we are here with united warriors now let us ask them few questions like what problem they have chosen and like what brainstorming like they are doing with their ideas so so like uh, from where are you first of all and which college uh, psg college of arts and science coimbatore tamil nadu okay so if i would ask you like what problem you have chosen and uh, like why particularly this problem it is like uh, we we uh, meet with the uh, many accidents and uh, many life uh, lives are lo lost due to ambulance uh, striking in traffic uh, so we have chosen this problem statement actually we have to implement this uh, in uh, matlab uh, it is it belongs to mathworks organization so we have to implement in matlab we are uh, focusing on uh, three ma major uh, concepts now it is like uh, first one is uh, we have to display the signal a physical signal in the display of the car that is the first one then the next one is like uh, we have to change the uh, signal of the car signal of the lane that has ambulance once ambulance comes the in any signal being it uh, irrespective of the signal once the ambulance comes the signal must change into green the ambulance must be able to go then the next one is uh, whenever uh, wrong lanes are chosen by people uh, fine should be uh, uh, imposed on them that's it now we have two of our mentors from shell company mr dipendra rajpal and mr narsimha so they are here as mentor and guiding our students here at grand finale hackathon 2022 so so what is your experience here in hackathon here at presidency university it was very good experience the students were well prepared they have prepared the prototype and the way that they are pre presenting their prototype it was very nicely they got all the times that that they need to prepare their prototypes and uh, we have given some suggestion to scale up their prototype to improve their prototype it it's very they have taken the feedback in a very positive way and they are working on that let's see what they will do in the second evolution round exactly sir i guess uh, your mentorship will help them like it's i can see here it's a mini india like yeah. like like been storming of brains right and so how was your experience so it's an amazing platform because yeah. uh, i can see students participating on all the forums like mm -hmm. they have also studied something before even starting it so which is good and they are applying innovation properly so and yes we are mentoring them on the scalability and also making them look at the complete dimensions but i see it very good and uh, very planned thank you thank you so much thank you here we have with us mr shreyas gokhale and sir i would be asking like how was your experience here at hackathon 2022 here at presidency university yeah it was an awesome experience uh, i came to the morning uh, and i saw the energy i saw the enthusiasm i saw the passion and uh, i I uh, really got uh, motivated to see these young guys putting their heart and soul for this project. Exactly, and so it's like a mini India here. Young minds, different like different minds, different ideology, yeah. different ideas. So, so what is your experience with them as and such? Yeah, I could see this team from various parts of the country, and they are from various backgrounds. Some are from food technology, some are from biotechnology, some are from engineering, some are from computer science. Yes, yes. and uh, when you have this diverse culture with diverse people mm -hmm. uh, it will definitely bring out the best amongst them exactly. and that uh, that this kind of uh, environment is suited for uh, you know solving different problems because you have a fixed mindset and when you interact with multiple people with a multiple mindset you get better options to select that is true yeah yeah so that is what i predominantly learn here 
Okay, sir. As uh, and uh, last thing, if I would ask you, like, what is your role here at Hackathon? Yeah, I am nominated here as a nodal center head. So I am uh, overall responsible for this entire event for this particular place. Mm -hmm. So uh, like uh, coordination with the college, uh, coordination with the authorities. Uh, I need to check whether students are getting all the infrastructure like stay, logistics. You know, uh, I I need to very I need to check everything is going fine there is no problem everyone is happy with uh, this event and they should learn and they should take some values when they go back to their hometowns exactly sir and the, the last thing how presidents universities if the campus and everywhere here management and everything yeah frankly uh, i saw the couple of pictures uh, on the internet and uh, i got eager to see the university and in the morning i just went around and the infrastructure is fabulous and uh, it is one of the best uh, university I have seen uh, in terms of nature, in terms of infrastructure and in, of course in terms of people. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we are so happy to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's not call it as a hassle. I really enjoy this work. So uh, meeting students from almost 30 plus uh, uh, teams from 30 plus institutions across the country from different region. Maybe it's, it's a, definitely it's a challenging to host them because uh, their uh, their accommodation their hospitality we need to take care yeah it's it's going very well now i think uh, we also interacted with a few students they they are very happy about it i'm really happy with this uh, uh, arrangement so it is like so you're enjoying your work as you said you're loving your work that is what uh, all it is all about so so sir here meeting different minds like different uh, perspectives different ideas brainstorming ideas on different problems and solutions that they are having so what are your inputs sir, from a child from a student or from a group as a whole if i ask yeah actually if you if you see these are best minds selected they are not just coming for first round mm. this is after after having two to three rounds they got shortlisted exactly. it's a grand finale mm. from 30 team to 2000 team you can see the ratio they are great minds of the country when it comes for the solving problem of different agencies. Mm -hmm. See, more importantly, the government of India is taking a lot of initiatives, especially the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. right from school level. Exactly. When tomorrow we are going to have a, a kid who's coming from a school from Lanka, he's going to receive one lakh cash prize even at the junior level. That's called as a junior edition. So Ministry of Education is taking a lot of initiatives to promote critical thinking among the students. That's one of the uh, important uh, requirement for the young kids. Exactly. And initiated by everyone, I would say, from uh, government of India till school, from school level to university level, as we are also arranging all of this and being brainstorming everything that uh, a problem is there. Because I have seen like students are working on beds problem, on queues problem, traffic light here and there. And it's, it's a huge thing, I would say. Yes. All these problems are faced by human every day. Actually, exactly, yeah. it's it's not a something connected to space or Mars. It's yeah. all people face what what problems they they face. How do we find a number of vacancy in a hospital? Number of beds vacancy in the hospital. Exactly, that That's is. the students trying to give a solution. As you rightly said, traffic signal. Now Bangalore is again well known for its traffic issues. Exactly, yeah. So how do we fix the traffic issues through a software uh, uh, mm -hmm. problem? So how a lot of foods are being packed nowadays. Mm -hmm. How do we find an eco-friendly type of packing? So if you see the problem statement, no, it's all faced by human every day. Mm -hmm. So I should appreciate the uh, uh, overall organizer, which is Ministry of Education and mm -hmm. the AICTE and the innovation cell from Ministry of Education, taking such a problems and uh, trying to give solutions. And more importantly, they are awarding a huge cash price of 1 lakh per problem statement. Exactly, exactly. So like it's a huge initiative by each and every one of us. Yeah. Like students are also taking their initiatives at Hackathon Grand Finale 2022. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much sir, for talking with us. Thank, Thank you. you. It's, it's really our great honor to host this uh, uh, Squad India Hackathon being on 75th year of independence. So exactly, it's happening yeah. in 75 centers. We are really proud to be one of them uh, mm. to host this event. Thanks to the Ministry of Education. Yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Here we have with us Mr. Shovik Chatterjee representing MathWork. Welcome, sir. Yeah. So my question to you is like here at Hackathon, what is your experience as you came here representing MathWork? Like, what is the thing that you found? It's very extraordinary in the student in the students because it's from various, I guess, various parts of India. 
right? Various parts of India and various departments. Various departments. So it's India. very interdisciplinary. So people are at, uh, addressing the problems in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. uh, as part of MathWorks, we have been part of multiple hackathons. So it always helps to see the student minds. Exactly. Uh, that's the biggest thing. And uh, it's uh, all good minds in one room. That's one of the great things to have. Um, exactly. Exactly, sir. And so my question is like, uh, what your inputs are? Like, what are your intakes? Well, while you go here, like go from here, what will be the thing that you'll remember? Like, uh, have you you have taught from students and something like that there has been learning from the students exactly. you know we have we have seen how they have addressed the problems mm -hmm. the problem statement that we gave from our end which is about traffic light violation it's a very nice okay. way they have addressed the problems mm -hmm. so we had interacted with multiple teams we saw different flavors of the solution exactly, um, yeah. and those things are definitely useful we'll see how they're addressing the problems and then uh, the solutions that we are getting is also igniting other thoughts in our mind so in terms of like you know how uh, inter matlab and simul language mathworks makes uh, there are very nice ways they have utilized those and something we have some some of the cases we have also not anticipated okay this will go in this direction exactly. so it's great to see those uh, and uh, yeah there has been lots of learnings lots of takeaways and uh, we always look forward for the some martin india hackathon every year and this year it has been something to take forward in terms of the solutions that uh, we got from the students Exactly, sir. So yesterday, as we saw Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister speaking with students, on if I ask you on that note, do you see India growing on its own and will it be? Like how Narendra, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi is seeing India at 100th year of its independence? No, it's growing and we are on the right path. Yeah. So that's always encouraging to see that we are actually growing exactly. and uh, I mean say if we compare with my undergraduate say which was mm. say 12 years, 13 years back mm -hmm. uh, when we see now then also we used to have competitions but here of course it has grown and exactly. then the students are addressing emerging area problems. Exactly. It's uh, nowadays in every people are not consolidated in their own departments. Mm -hmm. All the students are interacting with each other from their own departments with their friends and then the ideas are coming and exactly. they're implementing those ideas so that's the best thing to happen. Yes. And of course we are on the right path and I definitely see India growing and India can be on its own definitely. Okay so thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Young mind and knowledge. Knowledge comes from young minds which have experience. As you all can see here we have experiences young minds. Young minds with different experiences. Smart India Hackathon!